Davida Maglens Hewlett Packard o kolejną dotyczącą naszej sytuacji przyszłej i w kontekście międzynarodowym. Już tutaj. Um, if you if you got an agenda and and it says I'm going to be talking about something, it's wrong because I'm going to be talking about something else. Um, there was a misprint, I think. Um, and and uh, so so in the words of Monty Python, now for something completely different. So if you look at the title of this overall session, it talks also about challenges and danger. So I'm going to talk about danger, and I'm going to talk about a scenario that I find personally terrifying because I used to be a banker and I sometimes remember what it was like and there were many terrifying aspects to this and I want to talk about one that's really true today so let me tell you a story it's a true story and I'm going to go down here a little bit and I'm just going to leave that there for a minute and that's the main slide. It's really exciting, isn't it? It took me hours to put this together. About a year ago, uh, a very large financial institution uh, in Europe, Middle East, and Africa um, had a major outage, technological outage. And I don't know if you've ever been in either a financial institution or anywhere else when the computer spread. Seriously, first. But if you have, the biggest enemy you have is panic and fear. It's absolutely terrifying. So here we have, this has occurred, and there are hundreds of people, including lots of people who can't help you in the slightest, right? Because they're senior executives and they don't know anything about this. They're all there trying to help you get this thing going. In this particular financial institution, they did a good job. I mean, there was a terrifying prospect in front of them. After about an hour, everything was back. And they were all talking to each other. Well done. Brilliant job, right? Now, here's the downside of that. Because they did do a brilliant job. By the way, there were no HP computers involved in any of this. Right? <laughs> I won't tell you whose it was, but none of mine. Right, so, been through this scenario. So they are all congratulating themselves and trying to figure out which pub they're going to go to to have a drink and say, well done. Right? Have a look at these numbers. Your daughter will get this. What do you think the first number is? Right, you're not in the data center anymore, you're in real life. What do you think the first number is? So the first number is 12 seconds. Can I ask you, how many people in here, particularly the young ones, which I do not qualify anymore, how many of you have got a Facebook account? Okay. How many of you have got a Twitter account? Actually, it's over 50% of you. Okay. 12 seconds. Remember the way down for now. 12 seconds. The first tweet went out. It said, my bank is not giving me my money. 12 seconds. You can guess what the second number is next time. The second number is three minutes. Three minutes was the time it took for this to be the fastest trending thing on Twitter in this particular country. Most of the people in the data center didn't know how big the problem was in three minutes. The world knew how big the problem was. The last number is 19 minutes. What do you think that was? I've got to check my timing. Wow, oh, tons of time. 19 minutes. What do you think that was? That was the time it took for the editor of the largest newspaper in that particular country to call the chief executive officer of that particular bank and ask him if he could please comment on the fact that he was denying hundreds of thousands of people their money. Right? 
There were questions in Parliament. There were fines. There were payments to customers who claimed, and I don't know if it's true, who claimed that you hadn't made the credit card payments on time and therefore you have to give me all my interest back and all the rest. It cost this institution so much money, so much money, that if they ever talk to me about the cost of my technology again, I will laugh. Okay? Your daughter would get this, right? If you get everything, so the next time, I don't know how many of you are in IT and how many of you are bankers, but if you're a banker, the next time your IT guys tell you it's okay if we're down for 10 minutes, that's not an issue. Get that slide, stick it in front of their nose, and tell them they've got 12 seconds, right? And that assumes that the person was pretty damn slow on their device. So, let's think about that world. You're not used to that world. I'm not used to that world. I mean, God, heavens above. You cannot take 12 seconds of downtime in that world. If you've ever, um, I go to the Netherlands a lot, and, and I like the place, it's great, and the banks are very cooperative with each other. Actually, it's, it's really quite interesting. If you ever sit there, get on the trams in Amsterdam, and see what people do. And everybody, I don't know if it's the Netherlands, but there are no old people in the Netherlands. I'm always the oldest person wherever I go. And all these people are sitting on smartphones. And I did an analysis with Rabobank, uh, who have you know, mobile payments and you can go and check all this kind of stuff. And their transaction rates just went up through the roof because people can just inquire on the bank balance. Did the check clear? Is that money in? And they sit on the trams all day long. They do this. And there's no cost to the consumer. <laughs> and they double the transaction rate. It's because people have got nothing better to do on trams in Amsterdam than they find out what their account balance is. It's insane. But I'll tell you something, the day the system fails, all of those people, 12 seconds. Okay. So that's the big danger. Do not accept anyone telling you it's okay, you know, if we're, if we're down for 10 minutes, nobody will notice. 12 seconds. So, what I wanted to do, did that scare you? It's supposed to scare you, you're supposed to be terrified. <laughs> Because I tell you something, I am. Because I have some customers who, when that happens, they call me and I take that kind of stuff personally and I have to leave the country very quickly. Okay, so I want you to think about payments in that context. This is uh, people have devalued the term mission critical. We, we, we use the term lightly. We don't think about what we mean. What mission critical means, this is IDC data, this is not mine. What mission critical means is that if it fails, you will die. Not literally, figuratively. You will die. And in the world of finance, IDC have decided that there are four availability levels, that's them, and the payments is in availability level four. What they're saying when they say that, uh oh, <laughs> what they're saying when they say that is that's mission critical. If your payment system go, okay, that's why I'm, I'm easy, I can do everything. Um, <laughs> what it means is if your payment system goes, that's when tragedy occurs. So I want you to think very, very carefully about that, and I want you to think, let's try this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I want you to remember that. So that when you are dealing with payment systems, when you are making decisions about payment systems, whether you are a technologist or whether you are a banker who has to deal with technologists, if you haven't satisfied that, availability level four, you have left yourself open to 12 seconds and you are dead. Not dead, just 100 million pounds worse off. Okay, so that's really the purpose of this presentation. I'm going to be the only one who finishes early, so I'm quite proud of myself. 
But please think about this. There is now a terrifying new world. People have thought over the last little while, you know, computers are more or less. I don't have to think about really fault tolerant stuff. I'm sorry. When you went looking, all of these young kids changed your world. And they are destroying it very well in terms of technology. So you have to think again about the technology you put in place for that generation and for the technology that they use to interact with you. You have 12 seconds before disaster strikes, and that is a real case. That's not made up, thank you very much.